Hey guys, this is Matt again. And uh, I know Steel Horse Club kind of beat me to it, but I was actually going to make a video about vlogging cameras, vlogging cameras as well. So uh, I'll go into a little bit more detail. This is uh, of kind of what he's talking about. This is, you know, my helmet. And if you uh, look at uh, like uh, Svengali's videos, what he's talking about would be a bullet camera setup, which basically consists of this is this is the camera unit, and that would attach on the helmet, you know, whether on the side or you know wherever. And I, I've actually used some of these in my uh, other videos. Um, now. The thing about that is this is just the camera, the, the video recording, or the video collecting part of it. On top of that, you need, well, you know, a few wires. You need a, a power supply. You need, what else? Oh yeah, the microphones. So all this stuff needs to be wired into your helmet. It's in this big mess. And the power supply. So all that stuff gets wired into the helmet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's right, baby. And then you've got a recording device. So you've got to carry all that gear and it's kind of a headache. You can use a, a little MPEG recorder like this as long as it has an AV input or you can use a camcorder with an AV input as well. Um, so that's kind of the first kind. Uh, some of my earlier videos use that but I don't use it anymore. Actually I use it just for um, a frame mount camera um, which I do have one video and I'll put the link to it right there. Okay, so the second type of camera that a lot of people use in their vlogs would just be a, a regular digital camera. Now this particular Kodak is not a good example of one. You'd want something with a small lens up in the corner and one that doesn't have a telescopic lens like this. But I'm just using this for size demonstration purposes. Normally what you would do is you would shove it in the can in the helmet kind of in between the cheek pads like that. You may have to do some modifications to cut it or whatever and then you know close it down and hope that your lens clears the bottom of your um, chin guard there so you can shoot right over that. Um, and that works for a lot of people. Some guys will actually push it down even further and then cut a hole in their um, chin guard so they can shoot through the chin guard. It's, that's a pretty popular method as well. Um, I'm not a big fan of that because I think it damages the structural integrity of the helmet in general, but you know, that's neither here nor there. The other way to, to maybe do that would be to put it up a little bit higher, maybe up on this, actually on top of the chin bar, but you know, it's just a matter of what what you can work with your particular helmet. Um, I could never really get this to work very well. It always seemed to be pointing the, the camera lens at the ground and uh, it made me kind of claustrophobic having the, the camera that close to my face and I would get hot and sweaty and it'd be kind of annoying. So this particular method didn't work out well for me. So the next clip I'll show you is actually the third style of uh, vlogging which has recently become available the third style of camera which is uh, kind of a newer product in the market and uh, maybe that'll give you some ideas on uh, how you can get a camera camera that I've been using now for the past several videos is this um, kind of slimline vertical video recorder Sony Webby I think shoots in high definition there's the lens and these these types of cameras are are made uh, a couple different companies. Sony isn't the only one that makes it. It's also uh, uh, a company called Flip makes a mill, and um, who else? I think Creative Labs makes one as well. 
but when you flip the uh, lens up like that the menu shows up on the back and then basically you just hit record and it starts recording the thing I like about this is I've got it set up just like that a little bit of velcro and it takes up very little space in the helmet it's uh, a little bit nicer for me because it doesn't kind of fit in this area and it actually doesn't touch my face while I'm riding so it's a little bit more comfortable for me and um, the other nice thing is I can kind of aim the lens a little bit further up when I'm riding I tend to um, angle down a little bit so I can compensate for that by angling that up a little bit so I'm kind of more level with my lens and then you close that there's still a little bit of glare there sorry still plenty of clearance so if you've tried uh, different digital cameras and you can't get it to fit in your helmet I would recommend trying something like this it doesn't have to be the Sony one but that's the one it's the first one I tried and it fit and it seems to work pretty good I'll put a link up to uh, a video for for that style I'll put that up right there um, and then I'll, what I'll also do is show you I'll put a different video uh, down here of what it looks like when I uh, miss aim that camera if, if that's aimed down too far obviously it doesn't look good and uh, so kind of just need to be aware of that with this particular model so those are kind of the two or three different styles if you don't want to use a helmet bullet camera like we talked about with Sven uh, the type of camera he uses um, you know I still have mine you can, you can see that's quite a bit of componentry um, to lug around you have to hook it up every time you want to ride and vlog and for me it's more of a hassle than anything else so um, what I do is I attach it to my frame and then um, I can record just static shots on the frame with that and I'll uh, like I said I'll, I'll link in the video for that as well so um, if you have any questions uh, let me know thanks bye